truthfully. Something smelled fishy. The story of the fisherman and his wife, as told by the wife, by Jessica Gunderson, illustrated by Gerald Guerlay. I know what you're thinking. Oh, that fisherman's wife, Isabel. She was so greedy and thankless. Really, though. I was just clueless. It's true. I was also very hungry. Please help yourself to some seaweed and let me tell you my side of the story. When I was growing up, my family didn't have much. We lived in a tiny shack and had little to eat. I always imagined grand things for my life: castles, fancy clothes, and jewels. But when I married, I married a fisherman. He was a great guy, but he was poor too. I moved from one tiny shack to another. At least we had plenty of fresh fish to eat, right? Wrong. My husband had to sell everything he caught. We ate a lot of seaweed salad. Gross. Every night I dreamed of indoor swimming pools and fluffy feather pillows, and sizzling steaks with cookie dough ice cream for dessert. Every morning I woke up in tears. Oh, how I wish we lived in a huge house with a big. Food-filled kitchen, I told my husband. Would that make you happy? He asked. Yes, I said. But I know it will never be. Guess what? The next morning, I woke up in a huge house with a big kitchen. And the kitchen was filled with food. Thank you, husband, for building me this house. I cried. Well, I, he started. I found a flound. No, no, I said before he could finish. Don't say another word. It's just. Perfect. At first, I was happy, but it didn't last. I remembered my childhood dreams of castles and pretty gowns, and I started to feel sad again. Oh, how I wish we lived in a castle! I told my husband, "We'd wear the finest clothes every day, and think of the treats we'd have to eat: bacon-wrapped shrimp and strawberry pudding, roast turkey, and mountains of mashed potatoes." Would that make you happy? He asked. Yes, I said, but I know it will never be. The next morning, I woke up to breakfast in bed: scrambled eggs. Chicken and two stacks of raspberry donuts. At your service, Lady Isabel, a maid said.
I couldn't believe my eyes. How could this be? My husband couldn't have built a castle overnight, could he? He must have had help. A lot of help. Thank you for building me this castle, I told my husband. But it wasn't, he started. You see, the flound. Hush now, I said before he could finish. Eat your drumstick before it gets cold. I should have been very happy. I was living in a castle, but for some reason, I still felt sad, like I was missing something. This castle is great, I said to my husband, but the queen's palace is better, don't you think? Oh, how I wish I were queen. I'd have everything I ever wanted or needed. Would that make you happy? He asked. Yes, I said, but I know it will never be. The next morning, I couldn't raise my head. Something very heavy sat upon it. A crown! Good morning, Queen Isabel, a group of servants said. I had become queen overnight. Me! My palace had an indoor water park, a movie theater, and a zoo filled with animals from around the world. It had a go-kart track and mini golf course. It even had its own pizza and ice cream shop. How did all of this happen? Was my husband stealing money? Was he a magician or wizard? Was I under a spell? Something fishy was going on. Thank you for making me queen, I told my husband. But I didn't, he started. The flound. I don't know how you're doing it, I said before he could finish. But I'd like one more thing. I'd like to be able to make the sun rise and set whenever I want. And then you'd be happy, he asked. Yes, I said, for sure. That night, I secretly followed my husband to the beach. How could he ever grant my latest wish? I hid behind a rock and watched. He shouted something at the sea, and a giant fish rose from the water. It was magnificent. We could feast on that beast for days. I burst from my hiding spot and scooped up the fish in my husband's net. No, don't, my husband cried. But I didn't listen. I carried the fish back to the palace and had my chef fry it up for dinner. As soon as the fish hit the frying pan, my crown disappeared.
so did the servants and the palace. My husband and I were back in our tiny shack. I told you not to cook the fish, my husband said with a sigh. But I didn't, I started. What kind of fish is this anyway? It's very... Flounder, he said before I could finish. It's... A flounder, my dear.